Brooklyn Independent Television. I decided to move to New York after a couple years in San Francisco uh, to go to grad school and came here to get an MFA in theater directing at Columbia. And then it was there that I met Chandra, who's the co-founder of Vibe. And that first production, it was called Say It How It Is, and it was awesome. We performed it in the theater at Columbia, the studio space, this tiny little room that we had totally packed with probably over 100 people. After the show, immediately, the girls were like, oh my god, okay, so the next time we do a show, we want to write about this. And the audience members were like, oh, my niece would love to be involved in the next project. And we were like, whoa. And it's just like snowballed in a really awesome way. Hey, Sammy, how you doing? It's like the best part of my day. I get to go to Vibe and see my girls and just chill and hang out and do whatever you want. You could just come and just sell yourself instead of being so uptight about every situation and just be free and be yourself at all time. Chandra and I shared a very similar vision from the beginning that has really not budged really at all in the last eight and a half years, which is to work with girls and provide a space for them to be able to express whatever it is that they need to say in their own words in whatever creative form they want to express it. Go hang them, mama. I can transform ya. No, I can't dance, but I can dance on ya. I think their lives tend to be really, really structured with things that they are not choosing. Um, they don't have a lot of choices. They, you know, they live at home with their parents or in foster care, like with some kind of authority figure in their life that is telling them when they're allowed to leave the house, when they're allowed to come home. They're in school all day where they are rigorously being told, do this, do that, do this, do that. They have rules and structures that they're following, just being a teen, you know, a under 18 in New York City, there are things that they're not allowed to do, places they're not allowed to go. Um, and we really believe that they deserve and have earned in their life a space where they can express what they need to say. Mm -hmm. So that's important because, you know, it's the little thing that makes us who we are that stand out the most. Yes, yeah. so I want you to think about that in your writing, the little things. One thing that we do say to girls all the time is that the only thing that we will censor is bad theater. We won't let you make bad theater. <laughs> and we don't. I mean, I think our productions are amazing. Like, they, the girls look spectacular. As a theater director, working with teenage girls is really exciting because their lives are melodrama every day. So rarely do you get to make theater with an entire room full of people who like comes into the room and is like, oh my god, what just happened to me has never happened to anybody else in the history of the world. Like they are so invested in like the rawness and energy of their stories. And that is thrilling. Doesn't about like the actual craft of writing, acting, directing, all that stuff. And we learn it in a way that you get to be free to express yourself. There amazingly are very few spaces in the city where girls really can engage with girls and in a, a boy-free space. I fully believe that teenage boys need creative outlets and should be making plays and I would happily support anybody who wants to be doing that work. When you put girls and boys in a room together uh, and add teenage hormones and energy, there are different crackles that are going on in that room that have nothing to do with the actual creative process that we're working on. Even the negative ones too. If only I could go back to the time when I actually cared and felt that driver was happening. I miss her. If only I could go back and pretend my emotions and be the true epiphany of perfection. Wow. 
I get really excited about what other people are bringing to the table and that's absolutely the way we work with Vibe is that every single human has like something to share, like some little nugget of beauty and uniqueness that nobody else has. And in theater you really have the chance to figure out what that is and you have kind of a bigger spectrum of options. So it could be dance, it could be music, it could be uh, writing poetry, it could be a lot of different forms that we can figure out, oh my God, okay, yes. You know, you're gonna dance at this moment, Contagia, you're gonna dance at this moment, and then, ooh, why don't you sing while she's dancing? And then, if you're singing while she's dancing, why don't you make a beat behind her on the floor? So we suddenly have, like, you know, so in, you know, Ajane's poem and Contagia's dancing and Giovanni's singing, and that's all happening in one moment on stage. So not, nobody owns that moment. No, Watch this and other Brooklyn Independent Television episodes online at brickartsmedia.org slash BIT.